y'all don't mind, let's go back to a time we really used to have church. We used to have a good time, praising the Lord, the Spirit and the truth. I love them old church That old brother, song. pick up that old hymn book and you knew exactly what he was going to say. Sisters got happy, folks start patting their feet, clapping their hands and all of a sudden, he break off in a song, something like this. Uh, let's look at Matthew's chapter 5, uh, verses uh, 1 through 12. Uh, I'm only going to, uh, really I want to take uh, uh, a thought from 11 and 12 because uh, there it gets personal. Uh, in the earlier verses, the, the plurality uh, of the blessings and the promises of God and the teachings of God but then around the 11th and 12th verse, he begins to say, ye and yours. Uh, notice that uh, he starts off by saying to us uh, that blessed are the poor. Now watch the plurality. The poor in spirit for theirs uh, is uh, the kingdom of God. Blessed are they that mourn for they, plurality, shall be comforted. Blessed are they uh, that are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be what? Filled. Y'all look at your Bible, for they shall be filled. And I can quote it, but I want to stay together. I want to show you, uh, as you read all these blessings that they receive, uh, uh, there's some things you need to know about the blessings that are given. Number one, from strictly a apologetic standpoint, when he talks about blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Mm -hmm. He is not speaking from a Jehovah Witness standpoint. Uh -huh. he, he is not saying that God is going to redo the earth and, and, and the meek are going to come, the 144,000 will somehow uh, come and live on the earth. Mm -hmm. God has said in his word that when time should be no more, according to Peter, First Peter, he says that when time should be no more, that God will come and the earth and the elements thereof mm -hmm. shall be cast into the lake of fire. Uh -huh. uh, and so Man. we know that God intends... Uh, not to destroy the earth by water, but by what? Fire. By fire. fire next time. And so then what is the meat inheritance? Well, remember Jesus is writing in the Old Testament writing in which there is bondage, with which there are folk who uh, the Jews are in captive to uh, the enemies, which God had designed. And he is speaking of the return of Jerusalem uh, back to the Jews, where they're no longer under bondage. The inheritance is not uh, referring to the end time, uh, it is referring to what Luke wrote in Luke 24 and Matthew chapter 24 when he talks about wars and rumors of wars or the desolation of Israel and Israel now arising from the ashes. And so bless all the meek in heart. He is saying them that one day uh, the meek in heart, those who are meek in heart will see uh, Jerusalem back to where it is. And so when we read these great scriptures, there's some things that we read over and we miss sometimes. And I want to show you that number one of uh, the scriptures that we read, bless are the pure in heart, blessed are the meek, blessed who are hungry, blessed uh, are those uh, uh, who are peacemakers, blessed are the pure in heart. Uh, he is not referring to uh, people who are broken, and busted, and disgusted. He's not referring to people who are just sick and tired of being sick and tired, but he's referring to people who, in the face of all of this, still give him glory and praise. Amen. Amen. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes, uh, uh, even in my spirit, sometimes yes. the only person that talks to me or listens to me is God. Yeah. Some, sometimes the only person I have to talk to is God. And yeah. so I might be poor in spirit, but I have not stopped seeking God. Yeah. Say amen. He says that when you have a disposition, that when your spirit is down uh, because of things that you're dealing with, uh, you still know how to say thank you, Jesus, and, and help me, Jesus, and glory, hallelujah. Yes. And when folks are acting a fool all around, Around, you still can just lift your hand and, and just yeah. shout thank you Jesus anyhow yeah. he said you are already blessed he didn't say you were going to be blessed he said the person that you see that is poor in spirit and still seeking me is already blessed Amen. that's the first blessing of the text so there is a blessing within the text and then there's a blessing to come within the text folk that can't praise God are not blessed folk Man. Amen. Folk, folk that sit here right now yes. that can't praise God Man. because you don't realize how blessed you are. Uh -huh. I don't know what you're going through, but I can tell you this. You are blessed by God. Yes, you, you didn't have to get up this morning. Man. You don't have to have your house you drive driving yeah. in. You don't have to have your health and strength. You could have died last night. Yes. You already blessed. Amen. You may not have everything you want, but you got what 
he had for you. Yeah. And that's enough for somebody to say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Because there is an immediate blessing. The attitude that we ought to have and the disposition that we have to face this world, we ought to have an attitude that the devil can't take your smile away. Yeah. Yeah. That the enemy can't make you shut up. Uh -huh. That the enemy can't make you look crazy doing service. That the enemy can't make you stop praising God. Uh -huh. He said, when you have a disposition that arises past your circumstances, he said, you're already blessed. Then he said, and guess what? Yours is the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. In other words, uh, those folk who are blessed in spite of the mess that they're going through, he said, I got a pretty good feeling that I'm telling you gonna make it to God. Because sometimes things that we go through will make us stop praising God. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you gotta have an attitude. I don't care what I'm going through, I'm gonna praise, I'm gonna give God glory. Y'all gotta say yeah. amen. I don't care what you do and you do, I'm gonna give God, God glory. God glory. Yeah, he said, blessed is the person who can rise up the enemy and his trickery when he sends his agents out to incarcerate us, to make us feel down sometime, that can still get up on Sunday morning, put your clothes on say I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus amen. the devil is alive, I'm still going to get in prayer, y'all yes, got to say amen, amen. remember in all of the eight, nine verses, he keeps saying blessed are they, blessed are they, he didn't say they were going to be, he said they're already blessed, y'all missed it you all look at your neighbor and say I'm already blessed I'm already, I'm already blessed, blessed. I ain't not be. Then he said, and then he said, not only you already blessed, he says that you're going to be blessed. And so the attitude is that when you're a blessed person, you ought to walk like you're blessed. Right. That's the be attitude. You ought to walk, you ought to talk like you're blessed. Right. You ought to smile and raise your head up like you're blessed. I don't care what you're dealing with, you need to realize you are already blessed amen. in Christ Jesus. Y'all ought to say amen. amen. Oh, I look at this wonderful pair of scriptures. I, I look at some of the misteachings that have been taught. When he's used the word, the poor in spirit, is not referring to financially poor. Mm -hmm. But what he is referring to is sometimes, uh, and, and I know you can relate to this, that sometimes uh, my spirit is not where it needs to be. All right. Yes. But all the time, my mind is stayed in God. Yes, okay. sir. Am I right about it? Right about sometimes it. folk can get on my nerve. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, but yeah. I still keep my hand. In God. In the master's hand. Am I right about it? Sometimes yeah. my mistakes uh -huh. make a mess of my trajectory. Right. But I still got my mind on Jesus. Yeah. On Jesus. Am I yeah. right about it? Right so when you reach that maturity in Christianity, yeah. no matter what your credit score says, right. you still say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Anyhow, I'm right about it. Yeah. I read in the Bible in James chapter 2 All right. and verse number 5, hearken, my beloved brother. Right. Have not God chose the poor in this world? Okay. Am I right about it? But they're rich in uh, faith. Am I right about uh, it? I might not have twenty-five dollars, right. but I walk right down to the dealership and sign my name okay. like I got four. All right. 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 All right. God, am I right yeah. about it? Yeah. Then yeah. my pocket. Okay, am I right about it? Uh, I might not have diamond right. in the back, uh, sunroof top, right. and can't even gangsta leave. Uh, yeah. Praise walking around. Right. 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 I can give him praise anyway. Because yeah. I got two feet. Some folk don't have him around. Right. 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 I don't know about him when I read yeah. the scriptures. Uh, I don't find him talking about uh, the outward circumstances. Right. Uh, yeah. Some of us are pretty poor in spirit. Yes. Why are we poor in spirit? Uh, because right. we allow the outward stuff in our life to mess with our spirit. Okay. But let me tell you what the old folks used to say. This joy that I had. The right. world didn't give it to me. Yeah. And you Negroes not going to take it away. Y'all got to take it I'm going to praise God anyway. Right. That God is right. Right. I don't care right. how you come in here looking, batting your eyes, acting like you ain't never seen it. I'm going to give him glory because God has been good to me. Yeah. So yeah. me. And if God's been good to you, you ought to shout at me. Yeah. Yeah. You know God has been nothing for you old rascal. And, and let me tell you, can I tell y'all this? Can I stop by and just stop? This is even my sermon. I'm going to stop all right here. All right. The way some of us live, and the way some of us carry ourselves, we know God good. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah amen. We know God good because I know if I was God, and I was seeing some of y'all show up like some of us do. You too. You don't tell me. Because you said, don't get to see that some of us showing up. I'd have been them kill you a long time ago. Amen. I'd have struck you with lightning last night. Amen. I'd have hit you with something this weekend. This weekend. But God. Right. When folk talk about me, right. when folk say all men are evil against me, 
that when folk persecute me, I can still raise my hand up because I'm not living for what I'm going through. I'm living for where I'm trying to go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's what's wrong with some of y'all. Some, let me tell you, some of y'all going to let some of these devils stop y'all going to heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah some of them going to let y'all Listen, God says, you're blessed mm -hmm. even to look at. When I look at you, I want you to see this. I know you don't feel good sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right. I know life gets hard sometimes. I know you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. All right. Yeah. But you just keep on keep praising on. God. Am I right about it? I know that you need mercy. I know that you give mercy okay. because you need mercy. Am I right about it? Right about Somebody in here is unmerciful because right. they think they don't need mercy. Right. But I read in the Bible, he said, blessed are the merciful. Uh-huh, uh-huh, for, for they shall, uh, they, they, they shall obtain what? Mercy. 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 Some of you act like you ain't never been hungry before. Mm -hmm. right. I'm not talking about the hamburgers and french fries. Okay. I'm talking about you're hungry for the word of God. Yeah. I came in here this morning because I'm hungry, hungry for some Ephesians. I'm right. hungry yes. for some Galatians. Right. Uh -huh. I'm hungry okay. for some Revelations. Uh -huh. I'm hungry for some Philippians. Y'all got to say amen. Uh -huh. He said, guess what? Huh? He said, you shall be filled. Huh? Right. And whenever you come to the Uptown Church of Christ, we intend to fill you up right. with the word of God. Y'all not saying amen. 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 And that is why that folk lying, walk away too much, you got to be perfect. And you got to do this and you got to do that. I want you to know that there's no bigger lie the devil can ever tell you. Right. On your best day, you will never be perfect. Amen. I don't know who you think you are. But all have seen it comes short of the glory of God. But don't you sit down and act like you can't mess up. Don't you walk around and act like you don't need God. Don't you sit down and act like you got it all together. Because every one of us needs the Lord. Am I right about that? He said that you are blessed in spite of the mess that you're living in. And as long as you don't allow your circumstances to circumvent your praise and your glory, everything is going to be all right. Look at the scriptures. He says to them who are about to go through some trials and tribulations in this disclosure under them that there's an attitude that you got to have as a child of God. All that right. attitude is contrary to the false teaching that men have tried to build churches on. The attitude of God show sure hell brought me through something is right. not working in 2016. All right. It's not what God is bringing you to, through. It's where God is taking you to. Right. If you remember the old story of the young man who was trying to get to Mount Olympus. You remember Mount Olympus was uh, in Greek mythology a soul where he talked about where all the Greek gods were. All I'm right. just telling you a story. I'm not saying I believe in it. If you go ahead and lie on me, I ain't preaching about no Greek gods. Let me try to help you relate to this. All right. Amen. Going on, like, I know y'all, some of y'all are lying. Right. Amen. Y'all tell all kind of men alive from somebody. All right. All right. All right. I'm trying to help you relate to how you want to make it to this life because I got a feeling right now as I'm teaching that some of our problem is is that we think Christianity is to get us through something. All right. It, it's, it's not. It's not getting you through something. That's your problem because every time you get through something, you say, "Oh, look what the Lord brought me through." All right. And every time you get to talk about God, He brought me through. God brought me through. But I look at you still. In it. All right. Because you still what it brought you through. God says, I'm not trying to bring you through something. I'm trying to take you to somewhere. Yeah. I'm trying to take you higher than what you've been through. Right. Leave Negroes where they are, they want to be what you've been through. Right. And you need to get to where God's trying to take you to. Right. Doesn't matter what happened in your past, you keep praising God because God's trying to take you to another level. Right. The devil thought you would have gave up and quit a long time ago. Okay. But when he got up and saw you this morning, putting on your clothes yeah. and, and fixing yourself in the mirror, right. and praise God, some of you brushed your teeth and some of you didn't, but praise God. But when God saw you getting up, going to church, the right. devil stopped you and said, What is he doing? He All said, right. It's not what I've been through, it's where I'm going this oh, morning. Yeah. I'm going to give God praise, praise. in my life. Right Look at the scriptures. You'll find yeah. that it's not what God has brought us through, it's where God has taken us to. All Listen right. to the scripture in Acts 14 and verse number 22. The Bible says that we, through much tribulation, must. Uh, enter uh, through in, it's through much tribulation that we will enter into the kingdom of God. Some of us get stuck in tribulation and never move past the trials of our life. Some of
of us are 40 years old and still talking about who hurt us 20 years ago. All right. Some of us are 50 years old, still talking about who did us wrong 30 years ago. All right. Some of us are walking around vowing never to come to church again because of something somebody did 20, 25 years ago. All right. You're going to keep sitting in what you've been through and miss what God is trying to take you to. God's right. not what you've been through. I brought you through it. I moved on, but you're still at the truth state. I'm to where I'm trying to bring you. All right. Amen. Uh, why, why you say that, preacher? Listen to, listen to verse 11 and 12. The Bible says, Word in Matthew 5, 11 and 12, so look at the text. Because you'll see, you'll see that in, verse, in Matthew chapter 5, 11 and 12, he says something that's quite uh, remarkable because he does not talk about what they're going through as he's talked about some of the trials that they face in their spirit. Be told, I want you to focus not so much on what you've been through, but I want you to focus on where I'm trying to take you. All verse right. 11 said, Blessed are you when men shall revile you. There have been times in my life where men have reviled me, All put right. me on the internet, lied on me, All lied right. on my family. I moved past that back in 2008, 2009. Right. I'm not worried about what they have done because God brought me to, I'm moving to another level. God's doing something bigger than the demonic spirit that the enemy on assignment tried to take me out. Right. He said, blessed are you. Now I want you to see this. Blessed are you when men revile you. Right. When somebody try to tear up your reputation and your name right. and your family and lie on you like a dog, he said, you are blessed, not hurt. Mm -hmm. Y'all miss it. Amen. Oh, what I've been through All right. is what God blessed me with. All right. I mean, you can go tell me what you've been through. I, I hadn't been, I hadn't, I, I would have to try to validate or just the inner line, Negro right. mm -hmm. But what I got to do is realize that God has moved me past that stuff. All right. Have you ever been, has somebody ever tried to hurt you before? Can you raise your hand? Has somebody lied on you before? Yeah. Have somebody yeah. misrepresented stuff All about right. you? Didn't you sit there? You, you can get tied up and hate them. You can be mad. You can be upset. Or you can realize that you are blessed. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed You are blessed. You have been, why are you blessed? Watch it. Because yeah. God is not into what they're trying to do. All he right. said, when well, men will revile you, and men will do what? And persecute and you. And persecute you. And ye shall all men say, and all men And say, all men of evil against, against you. you. Hold and on, let me tell you something. You can spend your time trying to run down and lie all you want to. You can spend your time trying to worry about how folk feel about you, but you're missing the point. The uh, fact that they're doing that stuff and saying that stuff is because you're blessed. Amen. I know how to say amen. amen. If you weren't who you were, you weren't, you weren't looking like you were looking and walking like you were looking and doing God doing what he was doing for you, they wouldn't be messing with you all in right. the first place. Okay. No, 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 that's all right. You can knock down my water devil if you want to. I'm still going to keep preaching. Amen. Amen. I'm still going to keep preaching. Okay. Because you're blessed. Folk are mad at you because you're blessed. They said, how did he get out of jail? How did she get out of jail? And got her a new car. All got right. her a house. And got her, got her a man. All he right. might can't see, but she got a man, y'all. I say right. that. She got some. Oh. I'm trying to see y'all alive. I'm trying to see y'all up in here. All right, you yeah. folks into what you're doing through. And so to understand, you already what? Blessed. You're blessed. Why are you already blessed? Because what you're going through is exactly what God has designed and allowed to happen in your life right. so he can get you to what he's taking right. you. You know this right now. The yeah. reason you don't have her in your life no more is you needed somebody to dog you out real good. All right. Mm -hmm. And all you talk about, she didn't do me right. Okay. If she hadn't done you like she done you, you'd never appreciate who you're with right now like right. you need to. Right. If it was not for the way he treated you or she treated you, you'd still be sitting there looking crap. You would not appreciate a good thing when they can't. All right. Amen. Amen. All right. I'm going to preach this, but I'm going to help me right now. Blessed. You're going to be here till midnight. You already what? Blessed. You're blessed. And you're blessed not because of what you're going through, but what by what? You win. What God is taking you to. All right, okay. Y'all ready to go home now? I'm almost ready to go home now. All right, all right, all right. We're about to get through right now. We're about to get through right now. Now watch it, watch it. Since y'all been good, uh huh? y'all been through this before? All right. You trying to get to the house? All right. Uh huh? You start to act right? All right. We don't finish the act. Y'all all right? Amen. For my sake, read. Rejoice and be exceedingly rejoice. glad. Hold on, rejoice. Glory. Get happy. Hold on, get happy when folk move that membership. All right. All right. That joker wasn't given when that right didn't tell him about right. it. Right. He said, Rejoice right. and be exceedingly yeah. glad. Yeah. Let that no rebellious devil, no let go where they go. All right. He said, Rejoice and what? Be, be exceedingly glad. glad. For great is the 
Jesus Christ. Right. I'm trying to take you to your reward. All right. You and what you're going through. He said, but your reward it, it, is it. Your hell is on earth, but your reward, Amen. you can keep fooling around on earth. what your hell is going through. You can focus on, Amen. you can keep focusing on what people say about you. They're on assignment from the devil. And some people's job is to sit in the church and look crazy while you're preaching. Earth. You can sit there preaching and get tied up on them, or you can preach about them. Okay, 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 watch this. Okay. I'm almost to him, I'm almost to him, I promise you. All right, I need five people full of the Holy Spirit. Shout amen right now. Amen. 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 But he said, he says, and in and, 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 and Psalms 23, yea, do I walk what? Through the valley. Yea, do I walk what? Through the valley. Through the valley. You're not staying in the valley. All right. Some of you done stopped. In the valley. In the valley. All right. You're depressed. In the valley. You're miserable. Yes. Folk don't like being around you. Every time they say something to you, well, you know, it ain't going good for me. You know, it just, it just, it just, it just, I ain't had no good luck ever since, ever since, ever, ever since my Brother Brown died. I ain't, ain't had nothing. He used to help with a chicken or two, but I'll tell you, I'm just going through so much. And, you know, I, 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 every time I get one foot forward, and I, 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 I get another foot back, not two foot back, but it ain't going to, I try to run for me every time I see you, because you're always going through something. All right. Do you understand that your blessings are not in the valley? But God's trying to move you to, to somewhere. Yes. He's already put your reward in heaven. ahead of you. Yes. Not only your reward in heaven, but your reward here. Yes. Whatever you want better in your life, you need to be moving to. toward that and leave the miserable folk and miserable people who sit around in anguish and hate and gossip and nastiness who won't praise God. Leave them sitting their miserable self right over there somewhere. Yes. Right. Say, I'm trying to get to where God taking me. I'm telling you a story just a minute. I come to a conclusion where Confucius was confronted by his young people. He said, I want to go to Mount Olympus. He said, you want to go to Mount Olympus? He said, yeah. Just about to ask you, how many of you want to go to heaven? Can you raise your hand? Well, everybody raise their hand. Except crazy folks going to raise their hand. But you want to go to heaven, you raise your hand. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. And so he said, well, if you want to go uh, to heaven, I mean to, to Mount Olympus, he said, you get on that road out there. You see that road? He said, yeah. He said, I want you to follow that sign, and don't you turn, don't move until you get to, a to Mount Olympus. All right. He said, you're going to see some U-turns. Keep straight until you see a sign that says Mount Olympus. Uh -huh. You'll see a sign that says Mount Olympus, 25 more miles. He said, I don't care what you do. You keep straight going down or going on up that road till you get to work. Mount, Mount Olympus. Olympus. You'll find people with flat tires and you'll find people with car trouble on the side of the road. But you got to keep to Mount Olympus. going straight. And he said, if you just stay on the road to Mount Olympus, you will get to Mount Olympus. Mount Olympus. Church, I stop by to tell you that if on your journey, your journey in life, that when you read the map of the Bible, it'll tell you that a broad is the way. But straight is the way that leadeth to salvation. Uh, right right right. I am the way. The truth. Yeah, and the right. I'm going to write about it. I'm it. glad that when I start moving, I'm looking for what God has in front of me. And as I read the scriptures, I'm reading the signs that are pointing me on the glory. Am I right about it? Do you remember what John said in John 14 and 1 through 3? Am I right about it? He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. But I got choked up at your house. All right. Had I not stopped at your house, All right. I could make it to my, my father's house. You need to take care of the stuff in your house. All right. I'll take care of the stuff in my house. Because I'm not trying to get to your house. All right. I'm trying to get to God to my father's house. Uh -huh. Why are you trying to get to my father's house? Because in my father's house, there are many things. Am I right about it? Right about if it were not so, I would have told you. And if I go and prepare a place All right. for who? For, for you. you. Uh -huh. I'm not down here on this miserable earth. All but right. when I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you. you to my to my right about it. Right I'm not going to stop till yeah. I get to the Father's house. Am I right about it? Right about so with this chapter 5 and verse number 1. If this earthly tabernacle that is this house yeah. were dissolved, I have another building All internal right. in the heavens, uh -huh. not made with hands. Yeah. I'm not even trying to find the church house. Yes. I'm trying to find the, the Father's house. I'm going to write about it. 
it. Uh, I'm glad today uh, that when I get to the Father's house, uh, yes. the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 6, and 7, that we know to be absent from this house is to be present in the Father. I'm not right about it. I'm not going to talk to you, but I'm not going to stop until I get to his house. You might not see me in this house anymore. You might not hear this voice anymore, but rest assured, I'm on my way to glory. You might not encourage me on my journey. You might not even think I'm going to make it. And I'm so glad he has the keys to the house. If it was up to some of y'all, I could never get in the house. Y'all won't even say amen when I'm preaching. I'm a nasty devil. Won't even encourage somebody on snake face weasel. Won't even shout Jesus, and have my brother out. Am I right about it? Oh, long foot back. Am I right? I'm, sorry. I'm glad when I get there that you don't have the keys. Because if you had the keys, wouldn't nobody get there. Right Am I right about it? Right about it. Oh, yeah, when I get there, I'll get there because I kept my mind focused not on what was happening here, but what God has for me. Not what I went through, but what God has set in front of me. I believe that God, and I declare right now, that God has set something wonderful in front of you. Uh -huh. If you move past your eight-year-old childish behavior, I believe that God set something in front of you next week, Monday or Tuesday this week. If you'll just get out of last month, I believe that God has something special, a reward, a reward for you that's waiting right now. If you'll just stop dwelling on everybody else's business right. and stay on the road, on your road to glory. Yeah. Aren't you glad that somebody said that when the road is called up yonder, mm -hmm. I'll be there in my right about right. it. Right. Right. Revelation 20 and verse 22 and verse number 14. Yeah. I'm going up yonder because I have a right to go up in my right about yeah. it. Right. That's the day that do his commandments. See, God's not just going to let you get to where you're going and you're doing what you want to do. He said, bless the day who do his commandments because they have a right to the tree of life. They have a right to glory. Have a right to what God has for me. Am I right about it? When we come to a conclusion, we'll find one of the most wonderful scriptures that we can find in the Bible. Where he asked the question, who are they? And from whence do they come? In Revelation 7 or so, he says, he said, 7, 14 through 7, he said, these are they who have come through All right. much tribulation. Okay? All right. But they didn't stop in tribulation. All right. They washed their robes in the Lamb's blood. Now, I, I, now, here, here's the teaching part right here. They didn't just go through it. They didn't ask God to stop it. They died if it was necessary Man. to get All to right. where they're going. Right. You're not going to get what God has for you until you're ready to die. All right. For what God has for you. Amen. Until you have the spiritually stop being the old you and turn, let God create the new you. Okay. Until you stop letting the devil take your joy away. Amen. Until you st stop letting the devil use our children, our husband, our wives to steal us away from the church. All right. You've got to reach a point where you're not in your EQ.